Hi, health teachers. I'm happy to share this lesson for middle school, middle school students on communicable disease prevention. The lesson is divided into three parts. The first part is a Q&A session where you'll focus on communicable diseases, namely COVID-19, and then transition to a discussion about sexually transmitted diseases. When you finish that session, you're going to move to a game called We Need to Talk, and then you're going to finish the lessons with a take-home assignment called Let's Talk About It. Let's take a look at what everything is. So to begin the lesson, you're going to start with this slideshow and have a conversation with students about their understanding of COVID-19. Now, if your community has been particularly hard hit by COVID-19, you might wanna fast forward through the first two slides. Otherwise, you're gonna show them this scenario. And essentially what happens is a bunch of kids go to the park to play basketball and a couple days later, one of them tests positive for COVID. So you're going to challenge your students to be epidemiologists and contact tracers and figure out who else has got it. Now in the process, you'll have discussions where you highlight vocabulary, things like pathogens, symptoms, infection, and you'll also talk about how we would know if someone had it, how it's spread, how it's prevented. So this is really set up, for example, um, for you to pose a question to students and then to allow students to actually answer. They've been living in a world of COVID-19 for over a year, and so they should be pretty well versed. This is a way to engage them and get them talking about the subject matter. And being able to talk about it is something that is going to be handy in the next section. So each slide poses a question. You hear what students think about it. Allow them to unmute and share if you're teaching remotely or to participate in some discussion. And then you can supplement what they said if needed with the following slide. So you're going to do this with COVID-19, which likely they'll know a lot about. And you're actually going to ask them that question, like, why is it that you know so much about COVID-19? And hopefully they'll realize it's because everyone's talking about it. It's on the news, it's being discussed at school, it's talked about at home. And that actually helps us learn how to prevent the disease and lets us feel comfortable talking to a healthcare provider or a family member if we're concerned that we might have become infected. That's going to be a big difference between what we see when we talk about sexually transmitted diseases. So at this point, you can choose to move on to that section about sexually transmitted diseases, or you can go through that whole process again, but this time looking at a bacterial infection in the form of strep throat. Again, it's created to have a question and answer session with your students where they're talking more than you are. Whether you go through that section on strep throat or not, eventually you're going to get to a point where you're kind of reviewing what we've talked about. So namely, when we look at COVID-19 and we look at strep throat, these are examples of communicable diseases that are caused by a variety of pathogens that can be spread from one person to another and that transmission can in fact be prevented. We're going to review the things that um, spread these illnesses, they increase our risk of infection, how a person might suspect they had one, how they could know for sure, and how it can be prevented. Chances are this discussion is going to take you to the end of one class period, and you're going to begin your next class period by letting students know that sexually transmitted diseases are just another example of communicable diseases, and that most of the information they know about COVID-19 or strep throat can be applied to these sexually transmitted diseases as well. So again, you're going to progress through this discussion in a series of questions and answers, posing the questions to the students, allowing them to actually answer. You might find two things. One, your students might know less about this. It could be the very first time they're learning about it as a middle school student. And two, they might be less willing to talk about it. And that's actually a teachable moment. So as you work through the information about sexually transmitted diseases, and you get to the end, we're going to end up posing that same question. Why do we know so little about STDs? And chances are it's because people feel less comfortable about talking about them. And really that puts everyone at risk. So ultimately it's important that we can communicate about communicable diseases, including sexually transmitted diseases. And that's where this game comes in called 
we need to talk. So in your next class with students, you're going to divide them into groups, whether you're teaching remotely or you're teaching in person. If you're teaching remotely, maybe you have your groups meet in breakout rooms and then designate one person from the team to share responses for each different question. Essentially, this game is a quiz game. So there's six multiple choice questions and you want the teams of students to talk about the answer before they share the response. If you're in person, it's really cool to add movement where you designate one wall of the room for each choice, A, B, C, D, and then the center of the room for choice E. So if we take a look at this, we're going to pose a question to the teams and then we're gonna give them some common think time. This is pretty cool because you can press any number on your keyboard to create a timer. When the time is up, you're either gonna have students move to the wall that best corresponds to their choice, or you're going to have their designated team members share their answer. And you may choose to award points for the correct answer. You can add a little suspense by pressing the letter D and getting a drum roll. And then you can go to the correct answer and sprinkle confetti to celebrate that the correct answer is both B and C for this particular question. So you're going to work through each of the six multiple choice questions the same exact way. And then you're going to move to the bonus round. In the bonus round, you create this scenario where your partner is really curious about sex and asks, don't you want to? but you know you're not ready, so what could you say? Again, you're gonna give the group some common think time to figure out what they actually say to a person who is pressuring them. And then at the end of that time, you're gonna have them share their responses. Well, clearly there's no single right answer to this question. So you wanna take their responses and highlight what they've done well and relate them to strategies that we know work. So you might relate it to refusal skills, being able to say no with a reason, making sure that your body language and tone matches that, maybe providing alternative options or using humor to diffuse the situation. I think it's important to let students know that this is a situation that will likely happen to everyone regardless of age just like we get hungry at different times, it's not uncommon in a couple for one partner to be ready for sex before another. They could also use a conversation sandwich where they couch something hard to say in between two positives. So, you know how much I like you. I'm not ready for sex. I understand you are. I hope we can still hang out. Um, you can also incorporate conflict resolution skills taking someone else's perspective as you articulate the problem. I understand this is something you're really curious about. Suggesting possible solutions. What if we just kiss and cuddle? And then most importantly, trying to ensure everyone's dignity, pointing out that handling rejection is difficult and that these can be tough situations to navigate. And hopefully also pointing out that in a loving and trusting relationship, you can get through those things. And that sometimes when you can't, it's okay for a relationship to end. Then you're gonna move into the final section of the lesson, which is the challenge round. Essentially, you're gonna share with students that research shows when they have conversations with their families about sexual health, they're more likely to delay their first sexual experience. And when they do become sexually active, to make more responsible decisions. And that's gonna lead you into the challenge round where they complete an assignment called Let's Talk About It. There is a PDF file where you can print a brochure for this assignment. And there's this Google Slides version if it works better to do it digitally. Essentially, this is an assignment where students choose a trusted adult to complete three sections on media, community, and family. It's important to acknowledge that not every student has a trusted adult at home. I try and do this by telling kids, if you're having a hard time thinking who to do this assignment with, please see me. And then I counsel them on who they might try to do the assignment with. And sometimes their trusted adult is me. So as they work through the assignment, there's a little information about why we're doing it. There's a QR code that the trusted adult can scan to get some information from the CDC about how effective these conversations are in protecting the teen. And then they're gonna dive into the three sections. So they're going to analyze a media message about sexual health. 
there's three choices here for them to choose from. They're going to find a local community resource related to sexual health. There's two choices here for them to choose from. Both of those are related to our standards, analyzing influences and finding valid and reliable health services. And then finally, they're going to ask a question of their trusted adult regarding relationships, sex, or sexual health, and they can type their responses right into these um, forms as they go. Hopefully this will be a worthwhile lesson for you and your middle school students about communicable disease prevention, STDs, and communication.